When it comes to battling fires, firefighters have to dress up in gear just like this, but with all the success of heat, how are they faring themselves? This is our uh, turnout coat. Around 80 pounds worth of gear. He's probably already got sweat running down his back by now. All for one person. And when it's time to battle those fires, you're sweating profusely at that point. Zone 10 Fire Chief Kevin Moulton says the gear they need to keep them safe is no walk in the park. It does not breathe. It's not like cool wicking shirts that people wear or anything. It, it does not breathe at all. Chief Moulton says as far as their auxiliary team, they're a blessing for us. Captain Dustin Headley says the auxiliary is what keeps them protected throughout the day. They come out with three, four, five coolers, ice down with water. Uh, and on a day like today, it's nothing to go through three or four cases of water just on one incident. Chief Bolton says their men and women's safety is top of mind, so they make sure to have a support for them when they're out of harm's way. As they come out, you know, we have EMS there to check them out. We have, uh, you know, our command officers, our safety officers. We're going to keep an eye on them, check them out. They go directly to rehab. They drop their gears. Captain Headley says there can be some serious consequences if they don't take care of themselves. Overheating and heat exhaustion, heat stroke, uh, we're not exempt from that. We're just like the public, and actually ours increases significantly once we put that gear on. Each firefighter making sure they're hydrated through the day. In Zone 10. There we go. Ford Sanders, WHAS 11, on your side.